Good morning, Windsor High. Today is November 16th, 2020. I'm Letty Ruiz. I'm Callie Perky. And this is your Windsor High School Video Bulletin. This week, drive through picture makeup day for all staff and students, November 18th, 10 to 2 p.m. Enter the south lot, follow the signs, stay in your cars, and masks are required for all occupants in the car. Appropriate school attire is required. Seniors, please dress professionally as this may serve as your senior picture. Here's a feature about a favorite teacher at Windsor High. My name is Diane Wild, and I teach three things this year at Windsor High. I teach theater, and I teach in the STEM 1112 English, and I teach career exploration. So I'm all over the school this year. <laughs> So my favorite thing that I've done in class so far is actually we're working on a Common App essay. And it's uh, it's actually a big deal to me because as a senior, you know, applying for all these colleges, having a nice teacher that actually will sit down and help edit with you um, and take you through the steps, making a, a great essay is really nice and like very important to me. We are going to be working on putting together a performance in the spring. And we're not sure exactly how we're gonna do that yet. We are gonna brainstorm and look at how other theater companies are handling um, this experience and, and figure out you know, how can we creatively respond to this and still create some theater for our community. Well, this is my 15th year teaching. Um, I've taught mostly in the Bay Area, but I did take three years and and teach in India. I went to teach in India. Um, I went to an international school in South India and I started a theater program for them. They built a beautiful new theater and I was invited there initially as a guest artist to go and direct their first show. Um, but then I ended up staying for a few years because it was an absolutely mind-blowing place. It was beautiful and it was an incredible experience. Um, so I spent three years teaching at a, at a an American international school in South India. So I love to build things. That's part of why, you know, that's my theater, my artistry in theater is building and creating. Um, so I love to build, I love nature, uh, I love cooking, and I love art. Everything behind me is uh, things that I've created. So I love painting, art, um, anything creative, and I'm there. I think Miss Wild is super funny. I think she's really funny and she's so sweet and kind, you know. She lets you take her time on just some assignments and just gives you feedback about your homework. And, you know, she's always there to support you for whatever's going on in your life besides school. But I think that she's a wonderful teacher. She's very nice. She's very funny. And, you know, within the circumstances with these teachers having to just, you know, basically learn as they go as well. And she's done a, a very good job of making class like very engaging and she just makes me like English class a lot. You know, brainstorming and co-creating and trying things and tinkering and like, it's just not the same. We're making it work and we're being really creative about how we do that. Um, but we really miss each other. I think one thing that's happening is that this, they're gaining the skills that it will take to be in the workplace of the future, which is there will be a lot of online collaboration, hence forth. A Santa Rosa Junior College application workshop for all students will be held Thursday, November 19th at 2 p.m. Zoom link is on the Windsor High School College and Career website, so make sure you go check that out if you need that. Justin's graduation ordering deadline is December 11th. Check out www.windsorhs.com and navigate to news for all the information. Students interested in taking a class at the Santa Rosa Junior College can now view the spring 2021 schedule of classes. Dual enrollment 
forms for San Jose Junior College spring classes must be submitted online before Friday, November 20th. The link for dual enrollment forms is on the Windsor High School website underneath the student resources. Hey everyone! Many of you may already know me as Lacey Cash, your senior class president. I'm usually on here promoting leadership events and activities, but today I actually have my own announcement, and it is about a fundraiser I have been running alongside two of my best friends. So this fundraiser has been going since about August, and it is called Support Your SoCo Firefighters. We are running it through GoFundMe, and we are trying to meet a goal of about $1,500, and we are currently at $730. We have raised this much strictly through social media promoting and sending it to family members and friends and we are just starting to slow down a little because a lot of the people we know have already donated and it has been amazing but we really want to meet our goal of about $1,500 by Christmas time so we thought it'd be best to come on to the Windsor High School platform and maybe share it with our peers and our staff and our faculty and just let you guys know that if you see it floating around social media anywhere, it would mean so much if you could repost or reshare it. Even if you're able to donate, that would mean so much too. So just know that these are Windsor High School students running it. So if you want to support us and what we're doing and support your Sonoma County firefighters and thank them for everything they've done for us over the past three years and all the fires we've faced, this is your opportunity. So thank you guys so much. And I'm hoping to see the shares spread around my social media even more now. So thank you guys. Windsor High School is excited to announce our new Construction Technology CTE elective class beginning January of 2021 for 10th graders during 8B block. For more information, please email your academic counselor. Upcoming college visits from Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising is Wednesday, December 2nd at 11.30 a.m. Santa Rosa Junior College News. The SRJC Senior Presentation is this Wednesday, November 18th at 1 p.m. Visit whscollegecenter.weebly.com. The Senior Swag Shop is open for just one more week, so make sure you go check that out before it closes on November 23rd. Despite the inconvenience of COVID-19, we are entering a season of giving and service. Here is more about what is taking place in our community. Hey Jaguars, I'm Ava Miranda, your ASB Junior Outreach Ambassador. And I'm Alyssa Geary, and we're excited to announce this year's annual Windsor Community Holiday Food and Toy Drive. This is a very important event where we help support the efforts of many Windsor organizations, such as Windsor Chamber of Commerce, Kiwanis, Santa Tim, and many more. As a community, we are collecting donated food and toys to help provide for hundreds of Windsor residents this holiday season. This holiday giveaway needs our help. We invite the entire Windsor community to come and join us for the first drop-off donation parade on December 5th from 11 to 3 in front of the circle at Windsor High School. Please bring non-perishable food and toys for children of all ages. We are also looking for families to volunteer at this event as well. For more information, please contact Ms. Wiley at awiley at wsc.org. We can't wait to see your community holiday spirit. Thanks, Jags! Hi, uh, my name is Philip Kwame, uh, and I thought I'd just share a few words um, about this time of year. Um, you know, around this season, uh, a lot of people begin to think about the idea of gratitude, um, and I was fortunate enough to get the opportunity to get a head start uh, due to a core assignment. Um, and while I was writing this essay about uh, what gratitude means to me, I came to the conclusion that it's very easy, um, while it's very easy sometimes, to be thankful. Other times it, it just isn't. Um, feels like a pain in the butt, uh, especially when stuff is going wrong, like a broadcast production, uh, weekend plans, or maybe even an entire year. Um, and. It seems weird to admit, especially in a place where we have so much, but uh, it really is true. It's a struggle. Um, and I began to think, what should people do about it? Um, and frankly, I'm not completely sure. Um, but one thing I did think of, uh, or at least I've been told, um, is to focus on small things um, and the good things that we are thankful for um, and they kind of 
get you back uh, into reality and kind of focused on the true nature of things. Um, I haven't taken it up yet, but I was once, or I was advised by a friend to uh, try to write down three things every day that I'm thankful for. Um, but even then, I still think that there'll be times that uh, gratitude is a challenge. Um, and in those moments, um, the best thing to remember is that being thankful for something doesn't mean uh, letting go of something that uh, we, we're still hoping for, that we will uh, hope to see happen. Um, it's not pretending that uh, there isn't bad things in the world. It's just sitting down uh, and putting those things aside for a moment and uh, thinking about the good things that uh, we're fortunate enough to have. Um, thanks. Thank you for listening to uh, my rambling, uh, and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Hey Jags, thank you all for the amazing submissions of you and your tacky tourist outfits. This week's theme is throwbacks. Make sure to send in past photos from recent school years of you and your spirit wear. Thank you. That's it for now. Have a safe and relaxing Thanksgiving break. And we'll see you the week after next week. Peace out, Winter High.